Hey, Kenny Jang here with the Daily KJ TV. It is Saturday after Snowmageddon in New Jersey. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. The whole tri-state area was paralyzed because it was caught off guard for the ice and sleet storm that came the other night. School's closed for the last two days. Anyway, um, we've got this beautiful park, this reservation, as you know. Uh, one of the spots I love to take a walk in. And so today is one of those quiet days and I thought I'd catch up on emails. Um, so today is the mailbag edition. So one of the recurring emails or messages I get on Messenger or Instagram is um, talking about just the uh, consistency or relentlessness of my publishing of videos. Uh, Bo Coffin from Life Church makes fun of me, I think, because um, you know just the stream of videos that are coming out. For most people, they have a trouble, even writer's block, um, even if they had the initiation to produce videos on a daily basis. Um, even when I was blogging, same thing. And um, one of the things that I shared with my mastermind group recently was my 3D matrix for content production. If you have that in place strategically, you should never have writer's block and we'll get to it one day here. But there's an exercise that I caught early on in my blogging days that I think was, has been really helpful. Um, and I wanted to share that with you today. I think writing is, like publishing, is like a job. You have to show up and you actually have to do it on a regular basis. You can't look at publishing on a whim, just like whenever I get a chance, whenever it's easy, whenever uh, the circumstances make sense. Because otherwise, uh, first of all, it becomes an ultra hobby. And uh, second of all, most importantly, you actually end up never doing it. You might do it once, twice, and just never get back to it. So you have to schedule it, and it has to be part of your rhythm. And it's, so basically, in order to do that, you gotta understand that writing, publishing, and content production is kinda like a muscle. You have to practice it and practice, practice, practice. So here's this one exercise that really helped me get into that rhythm. So the exercise is I got one of those fancy schmancy moleskins, right? Very trendy, everyone has one carrying around. I don't know what people are writing in them all the time. Uh, but get, get one of them. You've got one in the house somewhere, the blank journal book that you've gotten from a conference or you picked up somewhere and use it. And this is what you need to do inside. You just need to create a list every single day. Start with a list of three. Uh, three things about any topic at all. Three things why you're doing this. Three things what you hope to gain. Three things that you have to buy at the grocery store today. Three things um, that you want to do over the next 10 years. Three things that when you went into the restaurant last night and there was a huge line and you thought that if you were boss for a day you can change the operational capacity, right? We always think about that. That if I was just in charge I could completely change this. Three things about customer service that you just recently had an exchange with that could be improved. Just get in the rhythm of writing three things a day. So what's gonna happen is eventually you get to five things. You'll get to seven things. Sometimes you'll run over your creative juices will run to 10, 12 things. One great way to use this relationally is think about someone else's business, someone else's venture, someone else's project, someone else's life. Um, and think of a couple of constructive things that you could share with them to help them improve. And say, hey, I'm doing this journaling exercise. Um, today, I, your thing came up in my thoughts, and I thought I'd just jot down some notes. Uh, these are life-serving, constructive um, ideas that you might want to consider. That has spurred so many great conversations when I've done that in the past with somebody, because it's unsolicited, it's creative, it is putting them first, and it's serving them in your relationship. You're providing them with a little bit of generosity. Um, that is a relationship builder. You don't have to, but that's just one of the things that happens um, periodically when I build these lists. So that's it. Start the rhythm after a while. Some days you're gonna need to dig deep, and that's where you're gonna learn um, how to produce content on a regular basis, how to look for things in a different way. And uh, yeah, just try that out. I'll end off 
with a list of three things myself. Three things that I'd love for you to do today is comment below what you think about it. Is it something you can do? Is it something that you will do? Second one is share this. Could you share this on your social so that some other people could um, get exposed to this technique of flexing the muscles? And third one is do me a favor. Come back here tomorrow for the next episode of the Daily KJ TV. In the meantime, remember, be social, stay social.